Hey everybody, it's Mr. K. This week, we're going to talk about the French horn. Now, the French horn is another brass instrument. We've learned about several of those. We've learned about the trumpet and the trombone and the tuba. And the French horn follows the same history. The original ones were a couple thousand years ago, but the French horn's history sort of veers off from the rest of them. A big part of the French horn's history has to do with hunting. And we see depictions in movies and other such things of guys that are running around on their horses with dogs hunting foxes. And we hear them uh, running around and sometimes in the background we can hear a horn playing. Well, that's where the French horn comes from. In fact, the French horn uh, history is from that era. So after we started making them out of metal, somebody took one that was very long and they said, well, we want to go hunting and we want to use this horn to let people know different things. One, the hunt is starting. Two, the... Uh, we, we found the animal we're hunting for. Three, oh gosh, there's a bear eating my face, help me. So, you know, the horn, kind of like the military uses the trumpet or the bugle, use the horns as signals for different things going on. Now, the problem with this hunting horn, is what it was called, is that it couldn't really play that many notes. It could play some of the notes that we hear, you know, for, for the bugle, and it can play some fanfares, but it can't play all the extra notes because there's no valves. And so to fix this at first, instead of having it be a melodic instrument, which is one that can play a whole lot of notes, it would be a background instrument. And so it would only play one or two notes, and it would hold those notes during the song. Now, if they needed different notes to be played that were being held, they had something called a crook, which was an addition that they would put in the mouthpiece section of the, of the horn to give it a different note and make it longer, which means the tone would go lower. Now, eventually, somebody was like, well, I want to be able to use this instrument, this horn, to play melodies. But having to switch out my crooks every five seconds is not going to be a very easy feat. So how can we make this instrument different in that I can use it to play a whole bunch of things at the same time? And the thought was given for like the trumpet, those piston valves, but somebody was like, well, that's not fast enough. And so what they did is they created what's called a rotary valve. So instead of going up and down like the trumpet one does, these, they push them and it actually makes something turn and it rotates to get the different sounds. It's basically the same thing. It's a valve and it redirects the air into the, the new uh, tubes to change the sound. But it still, it looks a lot cooler. Now, does the French horn have to be a big giant circle? Not really. They could have straightened it out, but the sound that it creates because it's curved around like that is actually very, very unique. It's one of a kind. And so we continue making the horn that way because of the way it sounds. Now, the French horn can also be a very loud instrument when it wants to be. I've left some videos in your Google Classroom so that you can hear just how loud that horn can be. So that's it for our brass instruments. Okay, we've done the trumpet, the trombone, the tuba, and the French horn. All of them, again, are played the same way with that buzzing. <laughs> sometimes the mouthpieces are small, sometimes the mouthpieces are bigger. It just sort of depends on the instrument. Okay, but that's the big thing about them is they buzz. Okay. This week you have a brass review quiz so make sure you go over all the other brass instruments videos before you take the quiz this week and 
next week we're going to start on strings. Won't that be a whole lot of fun? So I will see you at your meets this week. Bye.